Diablo 4 is dead. Last Epoch released and simply killed it. But is it though? Is it really dead? No. Let's be real here for a second. Diablo 4 has probably right now the lowest player count ever. But is that Last Epoch's fault? No. It is simply the waiting time currently in the patch. We are one month into the season and everything is done. You probably have leveled one, two, or even three characters. There was an event with the Lunar Awakening for tons of bonus XP, and you leveled up your Seneschal Companion to maximum level. And this is the standard progression that a season kind of brings. I mean, you got an update, you got 30 days of playtime, which is actually pretty good. And right now we are waiting for the next patch for the mid-season update which means that there's another 20, 15 days currently until the mid-season update where nothing is going to happen, where there's technically no reason to play unless you would like to level up another character, farm Duriel, Senseless, or whatsoever. There is nothing to do endgame-wise. That We all know that that's Diablo 4's greatest weakness right now and the biggest problem it has is that make the game dead. Currently, until the next patch releases, it makes it uninteresting. But that's the good thing about ARPGs. I mean, the last 30 days, I hammered Diablo through every single day. And now Last Epoch released, or 1.0 big patch update, with new exciting content. And I get to enjoy that for a week or two weeks. And then when Diablo releases their latest patch, and it gets more interesting again, there's more relevant content to do, that's when I'm doing more Diablo again. And guess what? When Path of Exile 2 releases, I'll play that too. Until that gets boring or Diablo releases another interesting patch and then we're playing Diablo again. That's what I usually call patch picking to whatever game I do actually play. The same goes for Hearthstone Battlegrounds. I do actually still play Hearthstone after all these years. This is what started this channel. But only if Hearthstone has an interesting patch going on. So my main question at this point is, what's what's actually wrong with you? <laughs> Not with everyone, but with many of you, because Last Epoch won't kill Diablo. Path of Exile 2 won't kill Diablo. The only thing that kills Diablo is Diablo, and Diablo is immortal anyways, because, well, don't you have phones, right? <laughs> that, that's a rock phone, by the way. It's a gaming phone I bought for, well, YouTube and Twitch, in case I have mobile phone. Ray Shadow Legends. Lamborghini, what color is your Raid Shadow Legends Lamborghini? Good. Now, Diablo simply can't die. Is it right now horrible on Twitch? Yes. We're sitting down here at 775 viewers, but what do you also want to watch? Someone is doing free Duriel and Malphus capstones, so he's boosting some other people. Uh, all five tunes at 100 kill Lilith Glyph Ubs. Don't even know what the person is doing. And then this is our rank one hardcore self-found sorcerer. Well, I might actually tune into this one if I was interested in hardcore. Compared to that, Last Epoch is sitting at 28,000 viewers here right now. Make no mistake, it helps that there has been Twitch drops coming. And in a couple of months, it will be in the same position as Diablo is right now. Unless there's interesting patches that keep up the interest. Because this is the normal, absolute normal rotation that action RPGs go through. Start of season hype, end of season blah. Mid-season update waiting, duh. Is Path of Exile dead? It's sitting at 298 viewers. Why is it sitting at 298 viewers? Because all the Path of Exile streamers are playing Last Epoch right now. There is enough food to eat for every action RPG on the table. And every action RPG suffers. I mean, Diablo is even doing better on Twitch than Path of Exile right now. So it seems like Last Epoch killed both of those. But it actually didn't. We're just simply in the waiting room, waiting here right now. I know there are extremists right now out there. And I've been getting a lot of comments like, I am so happy you quit Diablo. It's a shit game. Good to see you in Last Epoch. Yes, I'm at Last Epoch right now. Yes, I'm making some guides. No, I won't make them forever. I will start making update news for the campfire chat, speculations about vampiric power, how to use the vampiric power, gauntlet builds. All this stuff is coming as soon as the update is out. And yes, I'm excited for season four as well in the season four news. 
So the content for that will be splattering your face. I almost started making some Helldivers content. And yes, you'll get tons of Elden Ring shenanigans as well that have nothing to do with Diablo 4. And all of that will always happen as soon as Diablo 4 gets boring to me. As soon as the game runs out of steam. But as long as there is content to make and there are guides to bring your way that will help you have more fun with the Necromancer, with the Sorcerer, or with the Druid, I really don't enjoy Rogue or Barbarian at all. There will be content made for Diablo 4, and Diablo 4 will be there. Make no mistake, yes, Blizzard wants to make as much money as possible, but for them it would be way more expensive to let Diablo die than actually just trying to keep it alive with maximum effort. Sure, the developers have had a lot of screw-ups, and sure, there is a lot of problems that Diablo 4 has. But I'll tell you one thing. The feel I get when playing Diablo 4, no other action RPG has. Last Epoch has arguably the bastest endgame. I don't enjoy that endgame a single bit. I level up my character in Path of Exile. It's super fun. Like, honestly, going through the campaign once, going through the campaign twice, flashing out my build, making it work, going perfection. Then I'm done. And I'm not touching that character ever again. Maybe I play one, two, three maps. Last Epoch right now, I level up my character. I start trying out builds. But in Last Epoch, as soon as you hit level 19, the grind to level 100 takes roughly the same time as it took to get level 90. So 90 to 100, same XP as 1 to 90. That's why I stopped playing my character. Then I start leveling a new one because they have five classes, 15 specializations. That's a lot of options. But as soon as I hit level 90, I, I'm, I'm done, done. And then I'll move on to the next character, to the next character. Until I'm bored there as well and I don't want to make any guides anymore, any builds anymore, anything. Realistically, the end game is great in Last Epoch, but it's great to get you to that point until the ultra hardcore grind begins. And I think that's the same for Diablo 4. I find the Diablo 4 leveling really fun. For some of you, it might end at level 17. For others, it's kind of level 85. Because little did you know, but level 85 is the level where you need four times as much XP to level up than before. So you're hitting level 85, and you're essentially getting punished for hitting level 85. And realistically, most builds got together around level 85. And with level 90, most builds can also clear a tier 100 dungeon if you have good equipment. It's... So technically, you have taken every challenge there. And then you can enjoy the level experience again. If you do enjoy the seasonal mechanic and the level experience, no one can help you if you're sitting in Domheim Tunnels, no one can help you if you're AFK farming the season mechanic just to grind levels. If you don't actually like the leveling in Diablo 4, that is what it is. Then you should probably move on to find a different game to play. I've seen the complaints now that it takes too long to level up, but I'll have to admit that the only thing Diablo has going on for it right now is the leveling, the power gain that you have. Like, the first capstone dungeon, do it as soon as possible, struggle a bit. Capstone dungeon 2, do it as soon as possible, struggle with it. Then this phase from level 55 to 60 until you can get the first ancestral gear. Then with level 60 and world tier 4, you can finally start slaying things. And you feel like super powerful and you get all this 925 and 830 and it stacks up. And like, you know, you do your first Duriel, you get your first uniques. You might be dropping uber unique in the open world right now. Then you hit level 85 and it's... <laughs> Then you do your tier 100, and as soon as I do a tier 100 with a build, I'm kind of like, build done, next build. Because that's kind of like proof of concept. Can this do a tier 100? Can this do a tier 100? And then I move on. And this is going to be with every kind of endgame content. Whatever kind of endgame content they bring out is always a simple proof of concept for me. Now with the leaderboards, it's going to be like, can this build? And top 10, top 100, top 1000. And then maybe next week, and another build do this because that's interesting for me to see how good can the different builds perform and which build will be the leading build for the respective weekly version of the dungeon because every week the dungeon is supposed to change 
Now, how are you feeling about Diablo 4? Are you still enjoying Diablo 4? Is it something for you? Did Last Epoch kill it for you, which is fine? Or are you also in that patch waiting room sitting? Love to hear it. I'm not going anywhere. I'll be always there covering a variety amounts of games. Now, if you missed the latest Diablo 4 news about vampiric powers and such, don't forget to check them.